dressed on camera for a living? Not me. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So everyone is so excited about autumn fashion at the moment, me included. And a few weeks ago, I did a Topshop dedicated haul on my channel. You guys seem to love that. So I'm back this week with an ASOS dedicated autumn haul. So much exciting stuff behind me to show you. We've got tons of really cozy knitwear in really fabulous colors. Some really nice printed dresses, jumpsuits, a bit of a showstopper in leather and sequin as well. And I'm gonna be showing you how to match it with shoes, how I like to wear and layer and all that good stuff. So let's jump in. So first up is this really gorgeous top, actually. I decided to open the video in it because I'm just in love with it. Why isn't it just for summer huns? It's all year round. And I just love this because it's got that really nice corseted area here. And it's got like a real nice 80s vibe about it. I'm loving any sort of volume in the sleeve at the moment. The buttons, as you can see, are covered as well, which uh, is a really nice touch. And I love the miniature lapels down here into the deep V. I'm not wearing a bra with it. I don't think you need to. This would be great for like a date night, a nice cocktail party, a dinner, that sort of thing. It's just really chic. And the white's a bit of a showstopper, I think. A pair with jeans for a more casual look or leather trousers for something a little bit more sassy, I think. And this was super, super affordable, ASOS design. I love it, really cute. Makes me feel like I'm wearing like a little bit of a mini tux. Right, so it wouldn't be an awesome haul without some knitwear. I have such a gorgeous piece to start off. I love this. Obviously we see cable knit a lot in the autumn winter in, in knitwear, jumper, sweaters. But what I really, really like about this one is the really oversized deep V. I think it just adds like a little bit of sass and chicness to what is normally just a jumper, which is quite conservative. This one is a really hot, spicy tomato red. I love tomato red. I think it's a great color not only for brunettes, but also blondes. I feel like it really like freshens up my complexion as well, especially when my tan's gone and I'm feeling a bit pale in the winter. A bit of tomato red in my wardrobe always brings my complexion alive. So I really, really love this one. Um, I got this one in a six because it looked quite oversized. I'm normally an eight UK, so I decided to pick this one up in a six, and I think it's it's going to be the right size for me because it does look fairly large. I'm going to pair it with jeans and some boots, so let's have a look. I've got it on, as you can see, like it's got that really open neck that I was telling you guys about. I love it because it's kind of oversized, you can like shrug it off, and a bit of sexiness into your knitwear. Really, really nice. It's very, very lightweight. It feels gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to pop some jeans on with it now. So, this is the ASOS own brand jeans. They've got a really good selection of jeans on ASOS. The jean style for me at the moment that I'm loving is the dad jean. I feel like we've gone through everything. I'm 30 years old and I've worn every shape and style imagined and I never thought I would wear dad jeans. So here we are. The dad jean is a little bit longer than the girlfriend jean. The girlfriend jean came out the idea of the boyfriend jean which was like a loose fit. So we're just getting looser and looser and looser which I love because obviously it's super comfortable and dad jeans look great with boots because they make the outfit feel a bit more unisex. You can wear like a really slutty pointy feminine boot and wear a dad jean as well and it all comes together really, really nicely. I'm going to put this pair on and they're like mid blue wash, quite tough denim. So there's no stretch in these. And I have chosen size 26, waist, 32 leg. All right, so I'm in the jeans. Let's just get rid of this. Whoop. The 26 fits me really, really well. I'm sometimes a 27, sometimes a 26. The 32 leg hits just on the shoe when I'm wearing a heel. They've got sort of like frayed edges, so an unfinished hem. It's quite cool, like it adds to the casualness of it. And actually, when you put them in boots, they feel kind of 70s. So yeah, I've just tucked the sweater into the waistband here. They're quite high, like they come just below my belly button, which I think is a really nice, comfortable length. And this is like my favorite waistline on jeans. They're five pocket, so they've got back pockets too, button closure and a zip fly. Really, really nice wash. Like I've been after a mid wash for ages. Sometimes a mid wash isn't dark enough and it tends to look a bit cheap, but these ones I think are really, really nice. I like how it's a little bit darker here and then it's like a little bit more worn and faded on the legs. Feels like they might have been handed down to you or they might be vintage. It's really nice. This is a look, honey. My click didn't come. <laughs> I love this. I've actually got a feeling this is going to be my favourite look in the whole rail and I've got some goodies here. But this is like me every day. Like an injection of colour, a nice oversized knit, nothing frumpy, a little bit of sex appeal and then some really good fitting wide leg dad jeans and some cool boots. I will show you the boots in a second though, bear with. All right, so I'm just gonna add the wild card onto this outfit. Now you guys know that I like a wild card whenever I do a haul. Something that I've, I'm like, mm, is it gonna work? This could be a total disaster or I'm gonna look Bly as fuck. Did I just do that? Was that uncool? I remember when people did that at yeah. school. 
I never master it. Next up is this absolutely amazing vintage inspired white faux leather jacket with fringing. Oh my god, look at that. It's got fringing all the way down the arms, all the way across the back, and then all the way to the other side. It's just insane. It's like the coolest western jacket ever. It's got lapels here and pockets and it's also got this detail here which I think is really nice. It's like a covered button and that for me makes it feel super vintage because when they were like reproducing these jackets in the 80s they would cover the buttons like that. A bit of a trend. I opted for size 10. I didn't want this jacket to be the right size. I wanted it slightly oversized so it felt kind of vintagey retro. So let's chuck it on. I think the white is going to look really stunning against the red. Hey so here we are. Size 10, just about right actually, it's quite oversized, so I probably could have gone down a size and bought an 8. It's fully lined, it wasn't that expensive for what it was, I think this is going to look really cool thrown over like little black dresses at night if you're going out, or even like a black polo neck and some just casual jeans, I just think it adds a bit of sass, something interesting to the look. Feels so so vintage as well. I'm also going to chuck this over a dress in a second so you can see it with that. Okay, so next up we're going to look at some dresses. I used to think that a dress it was mainly for summer or special occasions, but actually a maxi dress is a great option for autumn winter, especially if you can layer with knitwear. And I'm going to show you one that I absolutely love. Again, ASOS design, and I just think this is absolutely stunning. I feel like it was inspired by Rixo. Everyone's going absolutely mad for like clashing prints, and what Rixo do really well is mix like a polka dot and a leopard, or a leopard and a floral, like this for example. It's that really cool flattering shape, which is super super hot right now, like sort of like a milkmaid puff sleeve here. It's got this little ruffle around the sleeve and it's, it's like got a band around it so like there is detail there which to me those sort of extras make it feel like it's a little bit better quality. It looks like it's going to come just below my boobs here and then it's just like quite a full skirt and then it's got like an extra long ruffle at the bottom there. Yeah I think this was quite like an autumnal colour palette. It doesn't feel that summery to me like the leopard and the black it's a little bit more wintry so I'm going to chuck this on now with some cream boots and then I'm going to layer it up with some knitwear. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so here's the dress on. Oh my god, I love it. I, I love this. It fits perfectly. It's an 8. I'm a size 8. It fits really nicely around the ribs. If you are an 8 to 10, uh, you might want to size up. If you're a 6 to 8, it will definitely fit you. I love how the V plunges. It's actually quite covered though here on the boobs, so it makes me feel like secure. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's so fun. I love how the top half is leopard and the bottom half is this really cool floral as well. I'm going to pair it with some cream boots I also got from ASOS. Okay, so I picked these up. I actually saw a really similar pair in Topshop. But these were actually less expensive and they are still leather, but they've got like a little bit of a patent cream toe here. I love the Victoriana style boot that you're seeing right now like they're gonna be so big for winter It's just like a nice sort of feminine touch to what is essentially a standard winter boot I love the ivory. I think they really pop under jeans and trousers or darker colors Everyone has a black boot for winter Everybody has a camel boot for winter, but I think this is a really nice take on a winter boot. It's nude. It's cool. Don't see it a lot. So I think these are going to go really cute with this dress. Obviously, they've got the like little Victoriana style running through the whole look, so I'm going to pop them on. Okay, I'm now going to add um, a jumper and uh, show you guys that you can actually use your maxi dresses in winter if they're the right colours and they go with your knitwear. So next up, I've got this really, really beautiful melange. Melange? I love saying that word. Melange jumper. On camera at the moment, it looks a little bit like brown but it's a pink and green olive weave it's really really nice I just love it it looks like it's kind of like an orangey camel from far away but if we get really close you can see that pink and green also I love how the collar is like kind of like a crew neck but it's got a little bit of depth to it in that olivey green color and it feels a little bit oversized as well so I think this is going to be a really nice layering piece. This is what it looks like on. Obviously you can match it with jeans as well. But I've paired it with the skirt now because I wanted to show you that layering um, a, some knitwear or an oversized jumper over your dresses is actually, I think, a really cool look for autumn winter. This one feels super, super soft. Which jumper do you guys prefer? Now I have three in this haul, but I really like the red one. But now I really like this one. So let me know in the comment section which one you like more. Or which one you would wear. Oh, before I forget, I was going to actually put this on and show you what it looks like over a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my life. My life. Yeah, so that's it just thrown over a dress. I think that looks so cool. My boots in, baby, you're driving me crazy. My attention for a western. My dance for a date. My Romeo, Romeo, Calvin. 
Oh my god. Let's move on to jumpsuit. I've got a really cool jumpsuit. It's actually quite similar to this dress, but it is all over leopard print. And I picked this one up because it's one of those jumpsuits I know will look so good dressed up and dressed out. Now this is going to look hot with trainers, it's going to look hot with boots. Perfect for nighttime, dinner, dates. It's also perfect for brunch on Sunday. It just depends what you do with it. Like put a denim jacket on it, put a leather jacket on it. So let's put this on because I think this is going to be fab. It's also really lightweight, which is great if you're layering as well in winter. I hate when you get a really, really warm jumpsuit and then you can't put anything else on top because the minute you do, you're sweating on the tube. I actually got a size 6 in this, so I, six, I sixed down. I sized down because it did look quite big on the model. It's quite oversized, but that's exactly what I wanted. I love the fact it's like t-shirt style and the sleeves hit to the elbow crease. I think that is so, so important. I just think when you get those jumpsuits and they're like that, they just look like kind of nasty. So really really love this hit right there. Nice scoop neck. The back has an opening as you can see here But it is it's not like a big one. It's just kind of just a little detail It's a button closure back there and then the waist is actually quite stretchy So if they didn't have your exact size you could go up and down in this because there's plenty of room there And then the leg length is Perfect for me. I'm five foot five, 165 centimeters, and it falls exactly where I want it to, just above the shoe. So there's a teeny tiny bit of ankle showing. I have paired these with trainers. These are my newest trainers from ASOS. They're Adidas ones. I fucking love them. They're so nice. I'm wearing them non-stop at the moment. I think they just go really cool with the jumpsuit. That's a little bit of a cool factor, you know. You know, keep it sporty, keep it sporty. And then obviously throw on like a grey crew neck or like a black cashmere jumper over this. Like super oversized. Jobs are good. Moving on, I'm going to show you my next knit because I'm in love with this one. I know I showed you two amazing knits right now, but this is probably the most premium knit I've got on the rail. Again, it's ASOS design, everything is that you're seeing today. And this one, I mean, what is autumn wardrobe without a cream knit? It is nothing, my friend. Nice detailing on the back here. It's got like a kind of tortoise shell button and then a little opening. And lucky it's a soft knit, so you don't really have to wear anything underneath. Or you could wear like, you know, like a camisole maybe. Feels quite oversized. It's very chunky. It's it's definitely the heaviest jumper on the rail. I'm gonna pair it with this. I know it's another maxi dress um, and it's bright tomato red. I've kind of got a thing for that at the moment. But I just wanted to hammer home the idea of using your summer dresses, your summer maxis, and layering them with knitwear because I just think it's fantastic. Dress is on. I'm, I, I love this dress. Again, it's that really nice, like, ghost, rixo inspired shape. I love the sleeves. It nips in at the waist in the right places. It's got a little slit at the back and the skirt is just cut on the bias fabulousness. I'm gonna pop the jumper on but before I do that I'm just gonna show you these um, because hiking boots are one of my favorite favorite shoe trends for autumn 2019. We started seeing them last year um, in the stores a lot and I didn't invest them but this year they were still here so I thought I'm gonna get them because they're a great casual alternative to the trainer and I live in trainers. So these are all leather which I really really like. They're quite a high style and they've got that classic like hiking boot sort of lace up and I'm actually gonna put these with this dress. Ooh, it's nice. All right, so I've just popped that really luxe knitted cream sweater over that dress and I mean, it's great. It's a great shape, you guys can see that. It's got quite a high neck. It feels super, super soft. And the way I've styled it, now this is kind of what I want to show you guys. I feel like this sort of outfit is something I'm going to be doing a lot this autumn. And it's like toughening up, like a feminine dress. So you've got the knitwear, you've got feminine dress with a bit of florals. You can do florals in winter. And then we've got a really tough hiking boot at the bottom. I just love it. I think this is such a cool look. Next up, I've got two party pieces I want to show you. And let's start with the faux leather dress. This is quite a statement. But when I saw it on the model, I just thought that is fab. It's also got quite a strong shoulder and a puff sleeve, which again, we're seeing a lot of this autumn winter. And I just think this is such a sexy look, but like not obviously sexy. Obviously, it's a leather dress, which is just like sex, sex, sex. I think the long sleeve is quite nice. I'm going to pair it with a pair of killer boots though, so we'll see how much sex is going on when I've got the whole look together. Thank you all so much for attending my Dominatrix Bondage 101 class. Okay, we are snug as a bug in a leather rug. Okay, so the dress is awesome, there's no getting around that. Size 8 and it fits nicely everywhere I would say. I mean, it's making my tits look nice, that's for sure. But yeah, around the waist, perfect. If you've got a bit of a, a curvy hip and butt area then it does fit rather nicely around there it's mini in length it's not like mini mini but it is definitely about five inches above my knee i do love the shoulder detail too and it's the zip closure at the back but i'm gonna pair them with some really awesome boots 
So I saw these online, they do them in cream as well as black, but I decided to opt for the black because I did choose another pair of cream boots earlier on. I think they're going to hit just around the knee area. They're real leather and the heel is a really interesting shape. It's like, I don't know, like rectangular. It's slim, but it's not a stiletto, so it's going to be a little bit more comfortable. They're pointed toe as well. So let's get them on and just <laughs> complete the look. It's certainly a look. I'm absolutely in love with the boots, definitely a keeper, 100%. I can wear these with jumper dresses, uh, skirts, dresses, loads of stuff. But in terms of this dress, I love how it looks, but I'm not sure I'd be entirely comfortable with it on a night out, because I will be wearing it on a night out, it won't be like a turn up to work on a Monday morning look. So I just feel like I'm going to get a little bit hot in it, but there's absolutely no denying it. It looks absolutely insanely hot. You've got the confidence for this, then go get it, girl. Love it. All right, last look. Ooh, she's a showstopper. ASOS have a section online where they do a ton of party dresses. Well, I say occasion wear, really. Like, you can wear it to a special occasion. It's called ASOS Edition, and they've got tons of these sparkly dresses uh, this year. And you know what? I got a fuchsia dress earlier on this year from And Other Stories, and I love the colour on me. So I thought I would go out and get another one. This is, I mean... The texture on this is insane for starters, I love it. It comes with a little tie that you put around your waist. It's very heavy, but you would expect it because it's got absolute thousands of sequins sewn onto it. it feels really good quality, so let's pop it on. In my head it was a look, <laughs> but I feel a little bit like ye old Shakespeare. I mean, those are some bat wings. It's a very luxury dress, don't get me wrong. I just, the shape, mm. I mean, thank God it's a mini because the mini adds like a little bit of leg so it doesn't look so covered, but I just, I think the sleeves might be a little bit too much. Bingo wings of the century. No, I mean, the color is gorgeous. Like take a look at that sequin detail. It's absolutely stunning. Not got the wow factor I hoped. They did have a few options with the deep V and I think that might have been sexier actually. So I think I might trade this in for one of those because I'm determined to find a fully sequined luxe dress for Christmas this year. Okay, so that was my haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, some alternative trend pieces for autumn, winter. Obviously, there was a lot of knitwear, but what you didn't see a lot of was all those, like, browns and blacks and plaids and tweeds. Winter fashion can still be fun, and I hope you saw some stuff that you liked. Certainly loads of ideas to go away and try. As always, I will link everything down below in the description box, so if you want to have a little peruse yourself then just head down there and if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and also subscribe if you don't already I do quite regular haul videos makeup tutorials travel vlogs day in the life of vlogs advice videos sexual sexual well-being all the good stuff so yeah thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you back here on my channel really really soon bye for now